Hello and welcome to another Mana Trader series match. Uh, I am Bobo Fraggles and I'm recording this on behalf of the Community Legacy League. So, um, we are sponsored by Mana Trader, so if you're interested in supporting the league, you can click the link in the description below. Sign up for Mana Traders, you'll get 20% off for three months. Uh, and, um, get 20% off for three months, uh, or you can go to uh, patreon.com forward slash mtgcll. So we're playing Black Red Reanimator. Um, we're going to have fun here. We're on the draw, and we have a Chancellor, and I can discard that on hint step. so I'm kind of interested in keeping this hand. Um, we're going to reveal, and we're going to force spike him a little bit. Let's show the game log. Okay. Uh, let's get myself situated here. My dog's going crazy. Perfect. Um, we are going to do, do nothing. We're going to discard on our end step. Next turn, we're going to unmask him, reanimate Chancellor. It's going to be the plan. See what he's got. If he forces this, then we're just going to thought seize him, and then next turn we're going to. Um, So I'm not quite sure what he's on, but we're going to take that daze, uh, and then we're going to attempt to reanimate the Chancellor. Record my door. Yep. He may have forgotten about the Chancellor trigger. Okay, he's paying the one. And he's looking for a daze. Or a force of will. If he force of will is here, we're extremely happy. Okay, we got it into play. So now he has to deal with this. And we know that Street Wraith is gone, the Brainstorm's gone. We know those three cards, presumably, because he did Brainstorm. So we know Polluted Delta's gone. So Dark Ritual, Thassa's Oracle. Not quite sure what's going on, but. Okay. We're going to Thought Seize him next turn because he is a combo deck. So I want to get that uh, Thassa's Oracle out of his hand because that seems like it's pretty important. I still, I'm not quite sure what, what we're playing. I probably should know that. I just don't. But either way, we gotta start hitting him. Grizzle Brand. Great card, but not. Our plan right now is to kill him with.
I don't know what that does. But it's staying there. Next turn, we're going to reanimate his Street Wraith so that we have lethal in the following turn. We know he has Dark Grit. We don't know what he's doing with that Dark Grit, but... So we either lose or we win here. One of the two. Good. We won. Okay. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Um, but it seemed like it was pretty important that he cast specific colors. Uh, so let's go with that. He's obviously a blue deck, so we're going to bring in three Pyroblasts. And, uh, I think that's it. We don't know what he's bringing in in game two, so I'm a little hesitant to bring this in. Um, what are we going to cut here? Let's cut... Uh, what are we going to cut here? Let's cut a Grizzle Brand. Let's cut Tide Spot. I don't like that card right here. I'm just going to bring in Assassin's Trophies just because he is also a combo deck and we're trying to kill him. Get rid of a Chancellor. Let's get rid of Ashen Rider. Um, I'm going to start trimming things, I think. Unmask. Now, Unmask is probably the card we need because it is a combo deck. Three cards. Dark Red. Reanimate. Animate Dead, maybe. <sighs> Diluting our deck to bring in answers. Assassin's Trophy is just kind of like that catch all. We'll see if this works. I have absolutely no idea. This is a VIP deck list submission from our Discord channel. Um. So, we will see. This hand's pretty good, I think. Yeah, he's probably going to have Leyline of the Void, is what I'm going to assume, but if he doesn't, then... Okay, he doesn't. Tormat script, okay. We're cool with the Tormat script. Ah, I'm an idiot. I should not have done that. Uh, we can easily beat a Tormod script, though, but we are going to fall season because we're just going to try to pick apart his hand here. We'll see what he's got. Sure. Okay. Brainstorm. He's trying to hide something. That's okay. I made a huge mistake by playing something at all. I should have waited to land and step. Okay, sure. We're okay with that. Oh, it's Doomsday. Okay, we're playing Doomsday. That's what we're playing. That makes more sense now. So Chancellor's real good. Chancellor and Iona on black.
He stacks them a certain way, and we lose. Let's take a look at his list here and see what he's got. Uh, he's got Veils, that's important to know. He brought in Veils, Flusterstorm, Surgical, but no. Hmm. Okay, if we had drawn um, a land, we could have Assassin's Trophied his. Uh, we could have Assassin's Trophied his Underground Sea, and I think that would have messed him up. waiting. Sometimes the deck has a fail rate. I don't know if this is one of those times he could have stacked wrong or done anything. They could have really messed up. Who knows? So we're not going to concede until, until the very end. Now that we're on Doomsday, we know that Chancellor is probably our most important card. Because he doesn't have anything in here to get rid of the Chancellor once it's down. And once it's down, to pay that extra one for every single thing It'll be a big deal. I'm looking down his list here. I'm wondering if they're very familiar with this deck and maybe they're just trying it out too and that's why this is taking so long. I recommend fast forwarding until you start seeing some action in this video. You control four or fewer lands or basic land card and put it onto the battlefield tap. Is he running basic lands? Yeah, snow covered. really did not hit anything this game that's worth that's worth mentioning Yep. 
Okay, we knew that that was coming, but we had to do it. Boss's Oracle. And he wins. Okay. Alright. So we want the Chancellor back. Um, we're going to try to combo him really hard. See what what we can do here. We're gonna aggressively mulligan until we find what what we're looking for. And that is not what we're looking for. We're gonna mulligan that hand. This hand's better. Uh, get rid of the pedal, I think. Got two lands. I got rid of the exhume there because we have reanimate and we have an Iona. I want to do it all in the same turn. So we'll see if he has what we think he has for this. No! Oh, I cast the wrong spell. Ah, oh, that hurts. That hurts really, really bad. I hope we mind trick him into like wanting to counter this. Just get a chancellor, I guess. We'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully, we don't lose right now. Maybe we can get an Iona down next turn, play around days. Maybe it's for the best. I mean, we'll see. Dark Ritual, Doomsday. Sure. Iona, cast blue. Iona, name blue, maybe.
Okay. Ah, oh, we messed up so bad by not casting that reanimate. If we have another turn, though. It'll have to be blue. I own a name in blue. And if this does work, this will make Arius Fetch extremely happy. He's the uh, person who donated the deck for me to play, or told me to play this deck in our VIP section of our Discord. Just as a quick announcement, if you are in the VIP section um, of our Discord, and you get that by becoming a, a Patreon supporter at any tier, 1, 3, 5, 10, you get to tell me what decks to play, and I make videos of them. I think I misplayed earlier too. I could have, um, yeah, I think I misplayed earlier. I could have played the Badlands and then fetched up the uh, Bayou to play Assassin's Trophy. So there was a bit of a misplay there. All right, but let's see. Reanimate, naming Iona. Let's see what happens. Surgical extraction. Kind of figured. Okay. So we wait. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, we punted a little bit, but that's that's okay. We'll, we'll be back for more, um, and we'll play more Black Red Reanimator. So thanks for tuning in. All right, bye-bye.